Hey everyone, Bree the Game Girl here. Uh, I know it's been a while since my last video. I've been kind of busy. I got a job, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, um, I've been busy with that, so I haven't been doing this much, but I'm, I'm doing it. We're, in, we're, get, we're getting it done. Um, but anyway, uh, I found this game on Itch.io. Um, it, it looks like it's new. Um, it's a single yellow rose. It's a dating simulator, I think. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play it. So, before we begin, what's your name? Just put in... What pro- ooh. What pronouns would you like to use? This is good. When most games don't do this. And this is good, especially if, like... And especially if you don't use the typical he, him, she, her. So, huh. That's a good question. I want to try something new, but like, I'm not sure. Um... Eh, we'll just go with she, her for now. Uh, example, Bree's really great. She's a good person. I like her. I hope her day is good. That sounds good. Uh, is this right? Yes. Okay. Uh, hot cocoa for Bree? Uh, thank you. I pay the barista and sit down at a table near the back of the cafe. I like that painting. <laughs> uh, it wasn't a very big place, but it was nice that way. Not to mention, their cookies were delicious. Oh, character. Um, should I do voices for this one? Oh. <laughs> uh, hey Bree, what's up? Uh, hi Jake. Jake, one of my best friends, walks in and sits beside me. He's carrying a plate of cookies along with his drink. I take one and munch on it while he talks. Uh, just got back from Basil's place. We had breakfast together. Uh, they didn't come with you? <laughs> nah, they had work to do at the flower shop. Ah, of course. Basil loved flowers almost as much as they loved Jake. I've never seen anyone make a prettier bouquet. Uh, but we have a date plan for tonight. We picked out a few movies to watch at my place. <laughs> wow, man. Sounds like fun. Heck yeah. Um, hey, why don't you join us? Oh, that's really nice of you, Jake, but I don't want to intrude. I know you don't mind me third wheeling. Can I feel this in my soul? <laughs> my goodness. Friend third wheeling. Uh, okay. Uh, he stops me mid sentence. Uh, no buts, you're coming, Bree. Uh, you can even bring someone if you want. We'll make it a double date. <laughs> Dude, you know I don't have a partner. Uh, the bell rang over the door. Oh. Um, a boy walked into the cafe. He ordered a tea from the counter and waited. I couldn't stop looking at him. I got a weird feeling in my stomach. Not only that, but I think I recognized him. But from where? Then I realized. I know this dude. Well, <laughs> know of him. He goes to our college. I've even seen him in one of our pride club meetings. Hmm. But would he be into me? Oh. <laughs> Oh shoot, I said that <laughs> Okay, um... Uh, we watched as a man sat down at, at a table in the back corner. <laughs> Bro, go ask him to come over. <laughs> um... <laughs> this is good already, I like this. Uh, what? I can't just go out and ask him on a date. Uh, it doesn't have to be a date right away, you silly. Just invite him for a friendly movie night. I don't know. <laughs> Jake grabbed my hand and pulled me out of my seat, bringing me over to the boy's table. He looked up from his tea with a confused look on, on his face. <laughs> Dang, he was cute, though. <laughs> uh, hi, my friend wanted to ask you something. Uh, the boy looked at me with a smile. Oh? What is it? Ooh, okay, uh, do you want to join us at our table? Do you want to hang out with us tonight, or can I sit with you? Well, we want to ask him out for tonight. Hmm. But it would be nice to get to know him first. I'm gonna go for this one. Uh, do you want to sit at, with us at our table? You looked kind of lonely in the corner by yourself. Uh, he thought for a moment. I was sure I said something wrong when... Uh, sure, thanks for asking me. Uh, he picked up his stuff and we went back to our spot by the window. Uh, mind if I take one? Uh, he pointed to our plate of cookies. Uh, sure man, my name's Jake by the way, and this is Bree. 
Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Lucas. Lucas seemed shy at first, but he was still really friendly. We talked for ages about our interests in video games, college courses, even our favorite foods. You like cinnamon tea too? Most people I know don't like it. Yeah, it's Bree's favorite. She always asks for some when she's at my partner's place. <laughs> well, that's because Bab Basil makes it so well. They even use real cinnamon sticks. <laughs> um, hey Lucas, would you want to hang out with us today in my place? My boo can make you some tea if you want. <laughs> I blushed. I was so focused on our conversation that I forgot to ask. Uh, yeah, what time works for you? Um, I'll be heading over around 7. You can meet me here at 6.30 and we could go together. I'd, I'd love that. Uh, the alarm went off on my phone. Oh shoot, my class is starting soon. Uh, that's all right, Bree. Uh, go ahead to class, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> I smiled. <laughs> see ya. Um, I left the cafe feeling excited for the movie night. And I guess this game is a turn LGBT positive anyway, cause... Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I mean, it is Pride Month after all, so... I was so happy to meet Lucas. I couldn't wait to get him no get to know him better. But even just a little bit of time we spent together made my insides flutter. Um... Is it weird feeling this way after only... after having only just met? <laughs> Either way, I decide not to think about it just now. I head to my class. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna split this up into parts, but I think we're gonna go for the full thing. Let's go for the next part. Uh, when I got back to the cafe, Lucas was already there waiting. Thankfully, the cafe closed late. Uh, thankfully, the cafe closed late so teens could hang out if they needed to. Uh, yo, Bree. <laughs> uh, sorry if I'm late. Uh, don't worry, you're right on time. Uh, I noticed he was carrying a reusable shopping bag with him. Can't have a movie night without snacks. <laughs> We made our way to Jake's apartment, which was only a short walk from the cafe. It made it easy for him to stop by for a coffee. Uh, we didn't talk much on the way, but Lucas hummed a soft tune as we walked. If that's the same tune... Hmm. <laughs> uh, I knocked on the apartment door. Jake's date friend answered. Uh, Bree, you made it. Uh, they let us inside. Oh, is this Lucas? Uh, Jake told me you two were coming together. Uh, yeah, you must be Basil. Uh, the one and only. Uh, Jake said you wanted to try my cinnamon tea, so I put the kettle on. It'll be done in a few minutes. Uh, ooh, thank you. Uh, I just finished making some garlic bread, too. I hope you like it. I'm trying a new recipe. Hmm. Uh, we sat down on the couch in the living room. Lucas set his snacks down as we looked around. It looked like Jake spent all afternoon decorating the place. Fairy lights hung on the walls and a handful of candles burned on the coffee table. A pile of pillows sat on the floor, organized so people could pick whatever they liked best. On the couch was a stack of blank blankets and comforters in case we wanted to get extra cozy. Mm. Uh, Jake walked out of his bedroom with a handful of DVDs. Uh, okay, Basil and I picked some movies this morning. Which one do you want to watch first? Uh, you can choose if you want, Bree. Ooh, uh, what do you want to watch? Um, ooh, the- <laughs> Will and Fred's Radical Escapade. And I, I think that's a reference to Bill and Ted. I've seen those movies, they're really good. The third one? Decent. Uh, The Guilt in Our Sons, or 69 Tints of Black? Hmm. Um, I'm gonna go for Bill and Ted. <laughs> Uh, hey, I remember this one. It's a classic. <laughs> uh, really? I heard it was good, but I've never seen him. You gotta see this movie, man. Like... <laughs> uh, dude, you'll love it. Ooh. Uh, Jake put the movie in and sat down next to Basil. Lucas and I casually sh casually sipped our teas as the movie started. Mm, you were right, Bree. This is good. Uh, bro, we have to time travel to save the universe. <laughs> Yeah, let's unite the world with our music. This is Bill and Ted. I mean, I love it. And I love the art here, too. And <laughs> it's so simple, but so great. Uh, I glanced over at Basil and Jake. The two of them were cuddling. 
<laughs> Gee, they look so cute together. I turned back to Lucas. He was just watching the movie with a smile on his face. Hmm. We're getting intimate here. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, in this situation, I'd, I'd want to cuddle with a blanket. And yeah, and blanket, blankets are cozy. You have a good blanket, like, it's good. So, uh, I picked a blanket from the couch pile. Perfectly big and cozy. Uh, not wanting to be too loud, I whispered to him. Uh, you want to share? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, we wrapped ourselves up in the comforter. Now we are closer to each other, but in a comfortable way. Uh, he leaned his head on my shoulder. <laughs> this... This was nice. Uh, a while later, the movie ended. <laughs> that was pretty good. What do y'all want to watch now? Uh, uh, do now. Uh, uh, I can make more snacks and we can chill for a while. Uh, sure, I'm down for anything. What about you, Lucas? Uh, that's fine. I'm going to step out for a second, though, if that's okay. Uh, no problem, man. Uh, he walked out onto the balcony, closing the door behind him. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the bowls for the snacks Lucas brought. Basil went to the kitchen, Jake close behind them, ready to eat all the snacks. <laughs> uh, I sat alone in the living room, not sure what to do. Hmm. Well, if we're trying to get Lucas as our partner, I'd want to go check on him instead of just eating his snacks. Um, so I'm gonna go check on him. Uh, I decide to go out and see if Lucas is okay. Maybe I should use the arrow keys instead of the mouse so it's not, like, in the way of everything. Um, it's cool outside, but otherwise a nice night. Uh, hey. Hey, uh, sorry if I'm interrupting your smoke, Rick. Just came to up to- Just came to check on you. Ugh. Oh, um, I don't smoke. I just wanted to come out for a while. Uh, he looked up at the sky. They're beautiful, aren't they? The stars? Ugh, the stars. Ugh. I can't speak. Um, yeah, jeez. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. Lucas smiled. In this moment, he looked genu genuinely happy. Uh, I love stars. Constellations, horoscopes, you know? Not like in a religious way, I just find it all so interesting. I know it sounds kind of basic, but that's how I feel. That's fine. It's okay to love something as long as you're not a jerk about it. <laughs> it's true that. In my old school, people didn't really like my quirks. Uh, but I could tell that living here will be different. To be honest, you guys are the first people I feel like I could be myself with. He stopped for a second. Wait, is guys okay? I meant it as gender neutral, but... <laughs> I smiled. It was nice he was being so thoughtful. Yeah, guys is fine. Don't worry. If you're not sure about what you about what you should say, free feel free to ask any of us. I can't. Uh, uh, Lucas smiled back, glad he didn't offend anyone. <laughs> Thanks, Bree. Uh, we both went back inside and sat on the couch. Jake and Jake and Basil were already back, waiting for us. <laughs> there you are. We were wondering what you were up to. Oh, we were just hanging out outside. <laughs> cool. Uh, anyway, we got the set snacks set up. Uh, we could put in another movie and chat for a while. Heck yeah. Uh, we hung out in Jake's living room for the rest of the night. Okay, part three. Uh, a week later, I got a text from Lucas. Uh, wanna hang out today? Uh, sure, where do you wanna meet? How about the park at noon? Uh, sounds good, man. See you there. Ooh. Got a picnic going on here. Uh, when I got to the park, Lucas was already there. He had set up a picnic lunch for us. Egg sandwiches, bread buns, fruit and veggie trays, yogurt and cookies, all of which looked like it was homemade. I hope everything is okay. I'm not a great cook, but I try my best. Uh, dude, it's perfect. Uh, we sat together and ate, watching the ducks float by in the pond. Hmm. Personally, I'm gonna say give him a gift. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, I got you something. Uh, really? Oh, you didn't have to do that, Bree. I reached into my backpack and pulled out, pulled out the book I brought. Uh, you said you were into con constellations, so I got you this. Ooh. 
Uh, it was a book I found about different deities and how they influenced how we see the stars today. Hmm. <laughs> Bree, this is amazing. Thank you. He wrapped his arms around me. I really appreciate you thinking of me. I blushed. Well, you made us lunch. I thought I'd at least do something nice for you. Uh, we sat and watched the pond for a while longer. <laughs> Lucas, lunch was delicious. Thank you again for bringing me out here. <laughs> no trouble, Bree. It was a pleasure to be with you. I, I helped him pack up his stuff and put the extra food away. We should totally do this again sometime. Heck yeah, that would be great. I'll call you later and we can make some plans. Maybe next time we can invite Basil and Jake. Another double date. Sounds great. See you then. I like this. This is good. Um, ring, ring. Uh, hey Bree, it's Lucas. I got you a little something, if that's cool. A it's a surprise, though. Maybe at the bookstore at around 7? See you later. Lucas says a surprise for me? I was so excited for tonight. My chest felt warm, my face flushed. I decided to visit Basil at work to tell them about their good news. Uh, I walked down to the small flower shop where they worked. On the shelves were, were beautiful bouquets and plants of every shape and size. Uh, Bree, hi love, how's it going? Uh, he's so amazing, Basil. Lucas and I are meeting up again tonight, and he said he has a surprise for me. Wait, a surprise? <laughs> yeah, isn't it great? I love him so much. Oh, no? Oh, no, okay. Uh, what's, what's wrong? <laughs> uh, they stopped for a second, wondering if they should say anything. I, I think he's... <sighs> wait, wait, I need a process with it, wait. I think he's planning to friend zone you. I'm wait. What? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you think? He, what? Why do you think he'd do that? Uh, he actually came in here earlier this morning and he he bought a yellow rose. Is, that's like the name of the game. What? What does this have to do with? Uh, I must have had a puzzled look on my face as they continued. Yellow roses are a symbol of friendship. They're actually the only color of rose that has no romantic meaning behind them whatsoever. Oh. Well, there's nothing bad about them, and you could totally give them to someone you love. They're def they definitely don't say, be my significant other. Uh, maybe he just didn't know the color meanings? Uh, all of our flowers are labeled, so I doubt it. But that can't be right. Maybe he just got it for someone else's and is getting you a different present? That makes sense. Still, I'm worried about it now. I, I thought he liked me. Uh, it's okay, Bree. Maybe I'm just looking too deep into it. Don't let it worry you so much. Hmm. I'm worried about this now. Uh, why don't you stay for a while and help out with the plants? Take your mind off of it? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Basil. I smiled softly. Mm, Alright, the herbs are growing really well for this time of year. <laughs> You'll love it. Okay. Well, we're at the bookstore. So many books, though. Uh, later I wait. Later I made my way to the bookstore to meet up with Lucas. Basil was right. There's nothing to worry about. He was already there by the time I arrived. Hey, Bree, you look really great today. He reached into his bag and pulled it out. Oh no. A single yellow rose. Freaking dropping, dropping the game name there. Uh, a beautiful flower for a beautiful person. His smile was soft, delicate, much like the rose now held in his hand. Uh, wait, I don't understand. Basil said this was a symbol of friendship. Uh, yes it is. I wanted to talk to you about that, actually. Okay, this, this is going... Mm. Uh, I've wanted to tell you ever since we've met, I'm... I'm aromantic asexual. Huh. That's a twist. And I've, I've played games about asexuality before. Um, I've played Lovely Anemone before. That was last year, actually. I really enjoyed that one, actually. And, but I guess that's what's going on here. Um, I don't know what that is. What are you talking about? The frick is that? I don't know what that is. Um, sorry, I don't know what that is. 
I don't experience sexual or romantic attraction to anyone. Yeah, that's about the definition. Uh, I meant to tell you sooner, but I was afraid of being cast out. Uh, I don't feel the need for sex or romance. Just thinking of it makes me feel really uncomfortable. Uh, sometimes it's hard for me to even notice someone flirting or trying to turn me on. Because there's just no switch to turn on. That makes sense. And that, that's a good explanation. Uh, in other words, I don't love you. Not in the way you expect me to, at least. I'm sorry, Bree. Hmm. So maybe that's the point of this game. You don't actually... You don't actually end up with the love interest. Hmm. I think I understand. Uh, that makes sense. I'm really so This is saying sorry a lot. <laughs> and I've been trying not to say sorry myself, just like in my own life. This is saying it a lot. <laughs> Uh, I'm really sorry, I just never heard about those before. Not many people have. People really rarely talk about it, so most either don't know what it is or don't think it's real. Gee, the <laughs> Lucas, that really sucks. Honestly, you were nice to me from the start, inviting me to your table. The movie you picked was totally epic. Sharing that blanket was pretty sweet. Checking up on me that night was a really nice thing to do. I just can't stop reading the book you got me. You asked politely when you didn't know what my sexuality meant. Lastly, you took the time to understand me. Hmm. I can help you through this. I don't want to let you go. Can we still be friends? Is there another option? But that one's blanked out. Hmm. Can we still be friends? I was wrong to think you'd be into me, and I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, can we still be friends? Yeah. He smiled kindly. I like that. You pulled me into a friendly embrace. You've been so kind to me, I can't let that go. You're the bestest friend I could ever have. Hey, why don't we go shopping tomorrow? We can bring Jake and Basil. <laughs> Good idea, Lucas. Lucas and I continued to be friends. He taught me so much about asexuality and aromanticism. Stuff that never even came up in our pride group meetings. He taught me to be more open-minded about things. So maybe next time I'll know to look for the signs. Who knows? Maybe by doing that, things will be different. Hmm. I guess I'm done for now. Um, but eventually I'm going to come back th to this and see... See what else there, there has to it. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. it. Um, I know I did. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.